Hello everyone, I am Dr. Saundara Raj. I am going to discuss with you a problem related to preparation of funds flow statement through this video. These are all a few details about me related to my career. After watching the video, if you are really satisfied with what I have done through this video, give a like to the video and subscribe my channel as well. Let's get into the problem. The following are the summarized balance sheets of Surya Limited as on 31-3-1999 and as on 31-3-2000. Let's look at the items given in the liability side of the balance sheets. Creditors, you find increase in creditors. Creditor is the current liability which would be taken over to the schedule of changes in working capital. Increase in current liability leads to decrease in working capital. Bills payable is also a current liability. You find decrease in bills payable that will lead to increase in working capital. What about the overdraft? Overdraft was 59,510 in the beginning of the year. That means in the last year. During the current year it is nil. So therefore it has come down to nil. Decrease in the current liability leads to increase in working capital. Provision for taxation we will open a ledger account. Reserves, there is no change in the reserves. Profit and loss account, opening and closing balances are given. Share capital, there is an increase of 60,000 rupees in the value of share capital. We will see what is the reason for the increase in the value of share capital. Cash, debtor, sundry advances, stock, these four items are current assets. They will be taken over to schedule of changes in working capital. Land and building is a fixed asset. Plant and machinery is a fixed asset. Goodwill you find there is an increase in the value of goodwill amounted 20,000. We will come to know the reason for increase in the value of goodwill after analyzing the additional information given in the problem. During the year ended 31-3-2000 an interim dividend of 26,000 rupees was paid. So it has to be proposed first in the adjusted PNL account. We will debit it in the adjusted PNL account as well to interim dividend proposed followed by this would be taken over to the application side of funds flow statement because it is a fund outflow. Second additional information says the assets of another company were purchased for 60,000 rupees payable in fully paid shares of the company. So assets are purchased in turn this company has issued shares valued 60,000 rupees. These assets consisted of stock 21,640, machinery 18,360 and goodwill 20,000 rupees. See regarding the purchase of machinery and goodwill by way of issuing shares, we don't have any problem because they don't contribute for fund inflow. Whereas when a concern has bought stock valued 21,640 by way of issuing shares, you find it contributes for fund inflow. So, if any current asset is purchased by way of issuing shares by a company, that value alone has to be taken over to the sources side of funds flow statement because it is a current asset. In the normal situation, when you buy a current asset, you pay cash. So one current, current asset comes in, other current asset goes out. Or there is an increase in one current asset which contributes for decrease in another current asset. Or if you buy it for credit, what you can say there is an increase in the current asset and you find there is an increase in current liability as well. So but that has not been taken place here. You find increase in the current asset named stock but there is no corresponding change in current asset or current liability. Perhaps there is a change in the value of share capital. So by way of issuing shares if you buy any current asset it will contribute for increase in fund. So that should be taken over to funds flow statement as a source of fund. That's a speciality in this problem. In addition, plant were purchased for 5,650. This is an application of fund that should be taken over to funds flow statement. Income tax paid during the year 25,000. This would be channelized through provision for taxation account. However, Payment of tax is an application of fund and that would be taken over to funds flow statement. The net profit for the year before tax was 62,500. When profit is given in the additional information along with the provision of opening and closing balances of profit in the 
balance sheet you don't worry about this net profit before tax 62500 given in the additional information you can very well ignore it prepare funds flow statement schedule of changes in working capital it is prepared by considering the changes in the balances of current assets and current liabilities as i said there are four current assets given in the problem and there are three current liabilities given in the problem you can very well prepare the schedule of changes in working capital keeping in mind the four formula i continue to express in all the videos related to funds flow statement what is the first formula increase in the current asset leads to increase in working capital decrease in the current asset leads to decrease in working capital increase in current liability leads to decrease in working capital decrease in the current liability leads to increase in working capital these four formula will help you to analyze the changes in the values of current assets and current liabilities and finally you can arrive at the resultant figure in the schedule of changes in working capital here it is nothing but increase in working capital amount at 52530 which is again an application of fund that would be taken over to funds flow statement now let's get into the ledger accounts prepared in the problem first we will open ledger account to understand the reason for increase in the value of share capital as usual share capital being a credit balance the opening balance is written in the credit side you find buy balance brought down 2 lakh rupees then two balance carried down 2 lakh 60000 rupees since they have bought assets worth of 60000 rupees by way of issuing shares the journal entry has to be passed first and the same has to be posted here stock account debtor 21640 machinery account debtor 18360 goodwill account debtor 20000 rupees to share capital account so now you find this account is tallied without any hidden information and as i explained in the beginning of this video if current asset has been purchased by way of issuing shares it has to be treated as a source of fund whereas if the company has bought any other asset i mean asset other than current asset by way of issuing shares it doesn't affect the fund flow into the company that's what mentioned here you can go through the note given there now let's look at the provision for taxation ledger account as it is a credit balance the opening is written in the credit side by balance brought down then the closing is written in the debit side to balance carry down now they have also stated that tax paid amount at 25000 rupees for the year for the current year so what is the journal entry for paying tax provision for taxation account debtor to cash now out of 40000 rupees opening balance if they have utilized 25000 rupees for payment of tax the balance expected to be is 15000 rupees in this account but what is the actual balance it comes to 50000 rupees therefore you find an increase of 35000 rupees in the provision for taxation account which is nothing but current year provision for taxation what is the journal entry for this hidden information adjusted pnl account debtor to provision for taxation 35000 35000 then next let's look at the land and building ledger account this is being an asset the opening is written in the debit side to balance brought down 148500 by balance carry down 144250 so there is no additional information in connection with the land and building in this problem therefore what we do we find the reason for decrease in the value of land and building there could be two reasons for having decrease in the value of a fixed asset one the first reason is depreciation even after you are given with the value of depreciation if you find decrease in the value of a fixed asset that stands for sale of the fixed asset but over here no information has been given in relation to decrease in the value of land and building therefore you straightly assume that the decrease is because of depreciation on land and building 4250 what is the journal entry adjust pnl account debtor to land and building account next let's look at the plant and machinery account 
as usual this is being an asset the opening balance is written in the debit side two balance brought down 1 lakh 12950 buy balance carried down 1 lakh 16200 in the problem you are informed that machinery valued 18360 is also purchased by way of issuing shares so what is the journal entry for that particular transaction plant and machinery account debtor 18360 to share capital 18360 so that is recorded here followed by you find they have also purchased a plant and machinery valued 5650 for cash what is the journal entry for it plant and machinery account debtor to cash account 5650 5650 even they after recording all these transactions that are given in the problem till you find a kind of difference or decrease in the value of plant and machinery which is nothing but depreciation provided on plant and machinery during this year so what is the journal entry for it adjusted profit and loss account debtor to plant and machinery 20760 20760 the next account we could see is goodwill account opening balance of goodwill was nil in the problem therefore two balance brought down nil but where is the closing balance was amount of 20000 given in the problem so buy balance carried down 20000 this is an asset that is why opening is written in the debit side closing balance is written in the credit side and there is a transaction taken place uh, in the problem that the company has bought goodwill valued 20000 rupees by way of issuing shares so what is the journal entry we discussed for this transaction goodwill account at uh, to share capital account 20000 20000 that is posted here this account is tallied now let's look at the last ledger account which is nothing but adjusted profit and loss account in the adjusted profit and loss account the opening balance is written in the credit side because profit is of a credit balance by balance brought down 39690 two balance carried down 41220 which is the closing balance of a profit and loss account now all the aspects that are related to adjust a pnl account which we consider in other ledger accounts we have open are posted here we found depreciation amount at 4250 provided on land and building and the corresponding posting is done here adjust a pnl account data to land and building for its depreciation 4250 and the next one we found through plant and machinery account that there was a provision made for depreciation this year that means direct depreciation was provided this year on plant and machinery so i just the pnl account that are to plant and machinery 20760 that is also posted here and there was a provision for tax made during this year amount at 35000 which we found by preparing provision for taxation account that is also recorded here and followed by we they have recorded to interim dividend proposed yes we were informed through additional information that interim dividend paid during the year was amounted 26000 to pay interim dividend the company should first propose it through the profit and loss account and that is what considered here to interim dividend proposed 26000 and moreover if you refer the liability side of balance sheet before closing the adjust pnl account is there any change in the reserve there is no change is there any goodwill return off preliminary expenses return off no nothing else and regarding this additional information they have been properly channelized through the corresponding ledgers and also adjust pnl account fine there is no other item to be taken over to adjust pnl account and therefore the adjust pnl account is finally closed and the balancing figure comes in the credit side which is nothing but funds from operation amounted 87540 which is a source of fund to be taken over to funds flow statement let's finally look at the funds flow statement yeah in the funds flow statement you remember i told you if any current asset is purchased by way of issuing shares that alone has to be recorded as a source of fund i also explained the reason very clearly you can go back and you know watch it again if you are a bit confused with that then funds from operation is a source of fund that is also recorded then purchase of machinery is an application of fund that you can pick up from uh, the machinery account then from the 
taxation account you notice that 25000 rupees worth of tax paid this year that is again written as an application of fund payment of interim dividend 26000 increase in working capital 52530 is again an application of fund so now fund flow statement is tallied with the total of 1,9180 in either side of the statement. I hope you have understood this problem. My suggestion to all the learners of this particular topic that when you start watching the video, first take down the problem in a separate sheet. Keep it with you and listen to my explanation. Whenever required, you can also have a look at the details in the problem so that you will gain the best understanding I guarantee for it. So thanks for watching this video. We will meet in another video related to management accounting. Thanks again. Have a happy learning everyone.